So I spent like $300 on Kylie Swim in like the middle of fall. This is actually my first time trying any Kardashian Jenner product. Like I've never tried Skims, but I heard Skims is pretty good quality. I've never tried the Kylie lip kits, but I also heard good things about those. Unfortunately, the press for Kylie Swim isn't quite so great. I've seen a lot of concerning uh, TikTok reviews and nothing has been telling me more that like, Catherine, should you even be doing this review? Can you even try these on? Because um, I'm a little concerned. If you're new here, my name is Catherine. I do super honest active wear and sometimes swimwear reviews, occasionally regular clothes too. If you're not already subscribed, please be sure to do so. So yeah, I was like set on doing this review and then like the launch happened. I like waited a couple hours. I was like, eh, I don't know if I really want to do this. And then I noticed like one of the suits was sold out. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna buy them. So I didn't get a couple of the suits. And as I was scrolling the website, they have they're like adult suits and then you get down to these other suits they're called like mini Keikos mini triangle orange and I literally like almost added those to my cart apparently those are like the children's swimsuits so you have like your full thong swimsuits and then you scroll down like two more and it's like toddler swim which I don't think calling it like mini Keikos was very clear at least to me I was like I did not know that those were like kids swimsuits thankfully I didn't buy them but I would put these swimsuits at a pretty high price point considering they're like $80 for a one piece and the two pieces are are like $40 per item. And as someone who really doesn't like swim that much, like that's kind of a lot, especially for Instagram swimwear, not necessarily like functional swimming swimwear because I don't think that this is really made for swimming. So my expectations were high and they were quickly let down. As much as people hate like Zaffle and Shein, like I get it, they're not the best companies, but you can get like a $12 swimsuit and it's wearable in the water. And I don't know if the same thing can be said about these $80 suits. Just as a reference, here are some swim bottoms that are pretty equivalent in price. Here's the inside of the Kylie swim it has a single lining and these kind of like itchy seams along the outside this one is double lined so lined inside and out and it doesn't have itchy seams it lays like super smooth on your skin and it doesn't like cut in and irritate so let's just start jumping into this i truly don't know if i can actually try these on on camera like i'm a little worried they might be like really sheer so we'll see and also like can you believe that this tiny little pile of clothing, this, this tiny little thing. Um, this is a swimsuit that is supposed to cover my whole body. This is a one piece. I don't even know what size I got. Okay, I got a small in this. So I think the thing that shocks me most is that I can't even tell you the last time I bought a swimsuit that was single lined. Like even the darker colors of this are see-through while completely dry. So I just like can't even imagine what would happen if you actually get wet in this. So this is the suit. It's got like one strap over here. This goes like around your boob and then this goes along the side. I don't really know. I will just say right now, I'm all down for like showing some skin at the beach and at the pool and everything. I don't think I'm like fully at this level of like, you know, thong back, super minimal coverage. So I'm not necessarily going to ding her on that because that's just the design. Might not be my personal preference, but people might like this. So I'm going to try to review like around that, even though it may not be my thing, it could be someone else's. But I think that there's just some key flaws besides that. Like even if you're going to be wearing like a thong swimsuit, like barely covering the nips and everything, Everything, it should at least be opaque enough that you can't see everything through. So this is the back. This is the lady coverage. And I think something that's hilarious is the fact that the hygiene liners they used are literally wider than the actual space that's supposed to cover me. And like, if the hygiene liner can't even fit in here, how are my parts supposed to fit in here? Answer me that, Kylie. While the Kylie suits are single lined, they at least have a double lining down here in the most nether of regions. So at least they have that. Guys, as soon as I hold this stuff up to the light, like so much light passes through. I actually don't know how I'm gonna try it on. I might literally have to wear like a bodysuit or something underneath just so I can be able to try it on. But I'm just gonna show you something real quick. This is me through the fabric. If you can see me through camera, through the fabric, I think we're gonna be able to see a lot more. I've seen some poor quality stitching. This one seems to be okay. So I don't know, let's, let's try it on. I will say I like the colors she went with. It's like very sunset and everything. So I thought that was cute. Okay, so um, I don't think I'm being dramatic and saying this actually might be one of the worst swimsuits I've ever tried in my entire life. Like I actually can't believe this is $80. I have said some suits were overpriced in the past, some other expensive suits and compared to this, they were absolutely not overpriced. Like that was very reasonable. I cannot show the bottom of this one with nothing on underneath it because I am just like, I'm flossed. I'm flossed, front and back fully flossed and not in the right way. And here's a little comparison of the thickness of the, you know, region down here. 
at the thinnest it's actually not too big of a difference but you can see the kylie one like continues to be thin way up in back while the other suit widens out for a little more coverage so you're just really getting very minimal coverage on this one okay i'm just gonna do my best just for like a minute before i put on something underneath this because i actually can't review this first of all i'm being pulled so much like this is not long torso friendly completely sheer can totally see my nips there's like two inches of coverage over here and just beyond the sheerness i don't really understand what the point of this design was like what is this little strap down here i don't think that looks good it's not flattering on the girls and it's very open in the back so i'm gonna put on like a bodysuit underneath this and uh, we're gonna actually review it honestly you guys know i'm pretty fearless on this channel i will try on anything but this just draws a line for me it's kylie's fault it's not mine okay here we go guys here we go we found a pg way to talk about the swimsuit so we can see just the absolute lack of coverage down here like no lips were covered in this situation we can also just see how sheer this is it's not working for me also this is just like such a thin little band of coverage like it's literally like over boob side boob and under boob all in one you literally couldn't avoid it i think we can see the weird design more like i just truly don't understand what they were going for back here i don't get it i'm not a huge fan um definitely not long torso friendly i'm feeling so much pulling up here and then we got a little borat situation in the back they're nice. Even moving beyond like the sheerness and everything, the suit just really isn't comfortable because of the single lining and the thick stitching around it. The stitching is really cutting into me, so. And here's the Kylie suit compared to a like $15 Zaffle bottom. If we're being honest, the bottoms are really more like seven to $8 because you buy them in a set. So we can compare the thickness. The, I just honestly cannot believe how paper thin these are. Like it actually amazes me. Here's the Zaffle bottoms, double lined, again, no no little itchy seams along the edges and we have those little itchy seams on the kylie ones guys i don't know what i expected out of kylie swim but it really wasn't this and yeah like i truly would rather shop at shein i really would oh no <laughs> Guys, I don't, I, like, it's hard for me to even believe that this is meant to be, like, a one-piece swimsuit. Where am I supposed to fit into this? Like, where? It's just hard for me to believe that I am going to actually fit into this suit in a way that would be acceptable to the world. Also, I'm telling you right now, the yellow, huge mistake. Here's another view of the subpar coverage. This, literally two fingers worth, is supposed to cover everything down there. Guys, I can already predict. Lots of single lipping will be happening. I should really put this up to the sun, but you can see the logo and everything through the yellow. Um, this is the inside, and literally this is how sheer it is, completely dry. Like you can read the care instructions. This is the darkest color and I can read the logo and everything completely through. Like guys, what the heck? Okay, this is the August one piece in yellow. I got this one in a medium. I just figured this one, like how, how critical could sizing really be? And this is the space for the girls. So let's try this one on. Remember how I said the last suit was the worst bathing suit I've ever tried on? This one just beat it. So first of all, more flossing going on downstairs. Second of all, these suits really do nothing for my ladies with a natural chest. It's doing all sorts of squishing and no lifting. And I have like about one inch of coverage. So um, yeah, we can't really do much with this one. So let's try on the bodysuit. Could you imagine me trying to review this without wearing this bodysuit underneath? Okay, I feel like I'm being too negative. It's hard because I just don't really have a lot of positive things to say. But you know, I do like a nice high cut leg line. I think a nice high cut leg Leg. very flattering I feel like having this little cutout and kind of like shape like this maybe kind of like accentuates like a little hourglass figure i think there's definitely some pros in just like the direction she was going with the design but again not enough coverage down here for any woman who's like over 100 pounds this is a medium and i'd actually say it's like pretty snug on me maybe because it's not like it's not allowing it to seat itself in here because i got it on over some clothes but i would for sure say all of these suits run small and i would size up one to two sizes just because of how adjustable they are i generally wear a small in swimsuits and i could probably do a large and let's just take a moment for where this is hitting me like this is where my nips are we have approximately one inch maybe less this isn't even like an instagram swimsuit like that is just too much for me yeah i'm trying to keep my biases out like that is my personal preference so maybe someone would like that just one slight movement and you're out so this yellow literally stay away from at all costs because this is the sheerest color and then the back just has like a little bit of strappiness this one is kind of confusing to get on i couldn't tell if like this was the top part or these were the bottom like i, I couldn't really tell i don't know what else to say other than this is just really 80 dollars down the drain in the last suit i got was just like a little 
little triangle two-piece. And while I felt like the other suits at least had like some like cute design elements, like a little bit different, haven't seen a suit exactly like them. I just think like, why, why make a triangle swimsuit? Why am I gonna pay $40 for a triangle swim top that is single lined, like no even option for any cut pads or anything in a design that I have seen around for literally years. Like this is like the OG swimsuit design. Like this, you know, this one makes me feel like I might've bought the toddler one. Look how small this is. Okay, I got a medium in this and it's still this small. Oh my gosh, they are just so see-through. Is the way that these tags are attached like, is that weird to anyone else? Like, I feel like that is a mistake. Like, they're not pinned on. Like, this is like sewn in, but like just by like a little thread. That's kind of weird. And then I also got a medium in the bottoms. This one looks maybe a little better in terms of coverage, but it's still not great. And since I'm not loving the quality, I already am like planning to return these. So you're definitely gonna be able to see the hygiene liner while I'm wearing it. I'm not excited to try these on. They're like so awful. Okay, this might be the best one, you know, but it's just a triangle suit. So I still wouldn't recommend buying it because um, compared to other triangle suits that I have for way less, it's worse. It's just the best, most wearable suit that she has today. So personally, I prefer a double lining because as soon as I step outside, if there's any sort of breeze, nippage, immediate. There's really not a lot of coverage. This is even a medium and normally I'm kind of like a small sports bra small top kind of thing. So if this is a medium and this is added coverage, I mean, you could probably size up like a bunch in this top for more coverage because it is completely adjustable. Little metal detailing on the ties. And yeah, it's okay, but like really what else is there to say about this one? The bottoms, I am fully covered. I feel like I'm not gonna be single lip in or anything. I will say a lot of these suits are very narrow down there. And I would actually say I'm like kind of on the narrow side of the spectrum down there. So if I'm not able to wear these, like not a lot of people will. But yeah, definitely a very low rise. I do like how they have this little like adjustable strap at the side. It's better than the ties for me. Cause I don't like, I don't know. I just don't like tying these bottoms and then there's risk of it like, falling off. So they just have these little like kind of adjustable bra strap kind of thing, which is nice. Got that on both sides. It's just like a little metal detailing. So that's fine. It's pretty cheeky in the back. I don't know if you can see. I think the, the hygiene liner is coming out or something. And this is the darkest color. And even though there may be some nippage, if there is any nippage now, which it's possible, for sure the moment you get in the water, this will go completely sheer. So I don't think these are functional, not even for like a little pool side because there's still risk. So I really, really do not recommend these. So sorry, Kylie. And lastly, we have the sarongs. These were $45. I think they're just one size. Yep, one size. I don't really know how to tie these. Oh, I got the sunset one. I think this color is really nice. It's like a mesh, kind of stretchy, breathable material. So this one's going well so far. Like, I don't really know how you could really disappoint on a piece of fabric. I think $45 is a pretty high price point for a piece of scrap fabric, to be quite honest. Like, there's nothing that really went into this that I feel like it should cost $45, yet it does. The sunset the color's pretty though. Let's try this on. Okay, so I got the sarong. Um, I don't even know if there's like instructions on how to tie this. I literally just did a little double knot and then you kind of just like fan out the material so that it covers a little more. I think it's cute. I think the colors go really well with the suits. Personally, I just feel like there's like a lot of fabric kind of draping down here. I don't know, I could see it. I feel like these little mini kind of like tie swim skirts have been a thing. The mesh actually feels pretty nice. Definitely way better than the swim fabric, but I just don't think $45 is worth it to me for literally just a piece of fabric. Maybe if it was like an actual tied skirt or something. Quickly popping in here just to say, if you're one of my ladies, watching this video. I would really appreciate if you gave it some sort of like or, you know, just any female attention because these swimsuit reviews tend to attract an audience I don't want. My audience on YouTube is usually like literally almost all women. And then we have a video like this where I try to post it, help out my ladies looking into buying these things and then the wrong audience finds it. So if we can try to send this in the right direction, the support of the support of women. And I've said it before and I'll say it again, if you are a creepy man and you comment on this video, I will literally block you from this channel within five minutes. And every once in a while, there's a man who's like, and you make these videos appealing to men and then you say that you don't want men watching them. It's like, no, you are so oblivious. This was never meant for you, okay? It's embarrassing that you're here. Goodbye, you're getting blocked. It's also embarrassing when they take the time to write out these like long comments and then I just immediately delete them. So glad that you had all that extra time in your day. Okay guys, that is it for my review. I honestly have to say that this might be one of the most disappointing brands I've tried all year, okay? It's embarrassing. I will also say I'm not like a huge like a Kardashian fan to begin with. I really don't follow them. 
that closely, but I also have nothing against them. Like I'm all for women owned businesses, but no matter who owns the business, I can't recommend you buy overpriced swimwear that's uncomfortable, sheer, you can't even wear out of the house and it's just like really cheaply made. So I'm sorry to all of my Kylie lovers, maybe stick with the lip kits. I don't think she's quite there with the swimwear. This is her first launch, so maybe we'll see some improvements. And she's gotten so much press out of just how bad these suits are that I wonder if this was all just like a marketing thing to, you know, kind of spice it up a little bit, get her a little more fame, to attract a little more attention to the Jenners and Kardashians in general. If you tried Kylie Swim, let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts were. I really will have a hard time believing if anyone likes this. There's better options out there. If you made it this far and you're not already subscribed, please make sure to do so. We got a lot of new videos coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!